Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So today we're going to see something very useful that is displaying products from sub categories without any module. Now, you might know that uh, PrestaShop by default does not display any product from sub categories. So like in this example, dresses um, actually has four products assigned to it, but one of its sub categories, casual dresses, has another and this should ideally display. Now that's possible if you know, you probably know if you use PrestaShop with the layered navigation module, but there are various reasons why you might not want to use that module because it's heavy, because uh, maybe maybe just because you don't need the features like filters and so on. So today we're gonna see how to do that without any module, just a couple of modifications of the category class. So yeah, we're going to be dealing with PHP. This is not going to work, uh, I guess I didn't test it, uh, with PrestaShop 1.7 because it uses a whole different system, but I suspect it's uh, it's going to work with 1.5 so you can um, give it a try if you are a 1.5 user. Enough chit-chatting, let's get to it. So as always, I'm going to modify the original file, but please feel free to use overrides if you can. So I'm going to open up classes, category.tpl, and I'm going to look for get products. So this is the method that runs to get the product list. What do we want to do here? We need the subcategories IDs, but not just one level of subcategories like we have in this case. We have um, casual dresses and nothing inside. What if we had another category? So we cannot simply uh, grab all categories or subcategories in this case that have that parent. We must get all of the subcategories, so uh, children, grandchildren, and so on. For this, we'll create another method, function if you prefer, and I'm going to do it at the end of the file. So public function get all subcategories, and inside here we're going to return db get instance singleton pattern execute s okay this is going to grab an array from um, the database and here we can add our query now select id category from and i'm going to use a constant here underscore db underscore prefix underscore again and this is gonna get the, um, the table prefix for the database table we have category where now this is where things get a little complicated um, I don't want to get too specific with this but basically press the shop uses um, a specific trace system that's based on number so just to briefly explain it without uh, getting too complicated, um, let's pretend we have um, this category with numbers left and right that are five and six. So this is left and this is right, okay? Um, if I want to include this in another category, that category will have four, let me space it, four and seven, all right, and so on. So the parent again will have three and eight and so on. So basically parent categories uh, always have a left number that's smaller than a child category and a right number that's bigger. Uh, I know it's a bit confusing. I do not pretend to learn this because uh, it took me ages. So just ignore me on this. So in this case, the numbers are N left and N right. So number at the left must be bigger than the current categories and left because we're getting uh, a child. So if the current categories uh, category sorry has four, the and left of the child of any children category must be bigger. So five, six, seven, and so on. Also, the and right must be smaller than this category's and right. Again, if it's too complicated, no worries. Uh, I'm not going to blame you for this. It's not exactly part of the tutorial. Okay, uh, yeah, this is basically everything for the query. So this is going to return all category IDs of all 
children. Okay, so let's get back to get products. And right now, we're gonna add something to get the sub category. So sub cats equals this get all sub categories. Okay, and this should return all sub categories. So let's just dump it uh, to check if it works. Oops. And it does. So you can see it gets an array, and we're gonna have to um, check this ID category as well. Next up, uh, we're gonna create a temp, um, an array, another array, a new array, to hold the uh, cats, not nets, the uh, categories to search in, cats to search in, and uh, it's gonna be an array. Uh, you can use a, a more modern notation, actually, if, if I do. Um, and it's gonna contain this ID because I want to search in the current parent category as well. So if I have subcategories, I'm gonna loop through the subcategories as uh, as cat, oops, uh, as caps. So uh, for each from a sub cats, as cat, okay? And um, I want to add each of them, so cats to search in, to my array. So as cat, and remember um, we had this um, the structure here, so we must access the ID category property. So ID category. All right. So let's check what cats to search in now is, or what it contains. So again, D to debug, save, refresh, and you can see eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So these are all the categories we can search in. That's great. Um, so what we can do now is start adding uh, this uh, these IDs we got. And uh, there are two spots actually for it. And the first is the get total, here where it's searching the products where the ID category equals this ID. We want to replace this with in and we can add this as well. So in uh, we're gonna use implode using a comma as glue and the cats to search in as the array for um, the parameter array. So uh, I think this is correct for now. All right, and I'm gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste it in the actual query that gets products. If I do it now, if I uh, refresh now, you can see it's uh, reading nine items because uh, there's another small thing we need to do here and I'm gonna add it in a second. Um, it's gonna get duplicates in this case. So again, here, line uh, 781, I'm gonna replace it with the uh, previous code. I'm gonna get rid of the um, dot since I didn't need it. Save, and now see what happens if I refresh. So I get the printed address, but I get duplicates as well because there are the same products in the child, uh, sorry, children categories. So to do this, to fix this, we're gonna add first to the count a distinct ID product. And so if I save and go back, I can see it's rating five right now. I cannot use distinct here. So I got a group and uh, I will do it right here. So it should be down here. Uh, it should be group by CP, that stands for category product, dot ID product. All right, uh, I actually think this parenthesis belongs here. Save and refresh. All right, perfect, we're done. So you can see it was not tremendously complicated to add this feature. Now, if you had trouble or um, if you simply want to have this um, feature implemented in the core, no fear because uh, we're actually working on, a, you might have read it on my blog, on a Preston Shop fork that's called 30Bs and uh, this version of Preston Shop 1.6 
the fork is going to include such a feature along with uh, many others. So if you are a, a 1.6 enthusiast, if you don't like 1.7, feel free to um, hop to 30bees.com and uh, request a feature, revert a bug or whatever else. You can also contribute and join if you like since uh, we need help. It's a pretty awesome project and uh, we hope to be launching in, uh, as you can see here, 22 days. Um, so yeah, if you uh, think the project might be interesting, if you like to have, uh, if you would like to have Presto Shop with less bugs and uh, more features, just join, let us know and we'll be happy to hear from you. All right, so I think we're done for uh, today's video. I hope you found it useful and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.